Good morning. Um, I'm just going to let the participants come in and then we will go ahead and get started. So happy Thursday, everyone. Happy Thursday. Thursday. All right, so we will go ahead and get started now. <clears throat> Good morning. My name is Joanne Wong. I am Director of Corporate Services at the Greater New England Minority Supplier Development Council. Thank you so much for taking the time today to participate in today's How to Do Business with Berkshire Bank. Um, today we have Ayumi Nets, Senior Sourcing and Procurement, and Mark Millen, Chief Procurement of Chief Procurement and Real Estate Officer, and they are going to provide an overview of Berkshire Bank's Procurement and Supplier Diversity Program. So just a few housekeeping items before we go ahead and get started. We are recording this session. This presentation um, will be shared at the conclusion of this event, and we will be using the raise hand function for asking questions directly at the end of the presentation. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to Ayumi and Mark. Thank you very much, Joanne, and it's a pleasure to be here uh, with everyone this morning. Thank you very much for your time and, and kind attention. We're, Ayumi and I are certainly very pleased uh, to join you today and share a little bit about our transformational journey and some of the best procurement practices. Uh, my name is Mark Milan. I am responsible for procurement at real estate at Berkshire. I've been in the procurement uh, space for past 25 years with uh, various different industries and categories and uh, currently working together with Ayumi and a great team in terms of driving uh, some of the changes that are aligned with our best transformational program aimed to really solidify Berkshire as being uh, uh, the nation's leading uh, community uh, bank and making sure that we're also driving enhanced value for our shareholders. Very excited to share our uh, progress and journey with you, uh, particularly as it pertains to a, a subject that is very dear and important to all of us. Um, and without further ado, uh, I'd like to introduce and turn things over to Ayumi. Thank you everyone for joining and thank you Joanne for organizing this wonderful event. I appreciate everybody taking this time to get to know Berkshire Bank and procurement process. I would love to share a little bit about myself as well. I am originally from Japan and grew up in Tokyo. In my senior year of high school, I came to the United States on my own as an exchange student because I wanted to learn with other American students and experience the culture personally. After completing my bachelor's degree, I started my career in New York. So as a minority woman, I truly respect your background and your success. And I hope we have an opportunity to work with you. I joined Berkshire Bank last year to establish centralized procurement function with Mark Milan, our Chief Procurement and Real Estate Officer. I partner with business units across the company for strategic sourcing. Uh, prior to joining Berkshire Bank, I performed multinational sourcing, buying and supplying supplier management in both indirect and direct categories at Two Sigma Investments and Kawasaki Railcar. I love to optimize partnerships in and outside of the organization, no matter what types of projects that I'm working on. Today, I will be providing a high level overview of the company, our core values, and moving on to the introduction of our procurement and procurement process. At the end, we'll have some timing for questions and answers. Um, Joanne, please, uh, next slide. Berkshire Bank was founded in 1846 in Western Massachusetts. It is headquartered in Boston, Massachusetts at 60 State Street. Bank has 175 years of heritage and history of being a purpose-driven and community-dedicated bank. We have more than 1,300 employees we operate and offer socially responsible banking services in five states, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Vermont, New York, and Rhode Island. Next, please. 
Our vision is to be a high-performing, leading socially responsible community bank in New England and beyond. Our mission is to empower the financial potential of individuals, families, businesses, and organizations by making banking available where, when, and how it's needed. Next, please. Our values consist of belonging, focusing, inclusion, respect, service, and teamwork. We believe our be first values reinforce our commitment to diversity, inclusion, and belonging by creating a foundation that empowers and ensures everybody can thrive in our workplace. Next. Uh, through our suite of socially responsible banking products, we see our role as a bank and a purpose to make banking services accessible to everyone in the community. Boston Business Journal named Berkshire Bank as top charitable contributor in Massachusetts for the 10th straight year. Additionally, this year we launched Best Community Comeback, which is our 5 billion commitment to invest in lending communities across our markets, to empower the comeback of our neighbors and our neighborhoods over the next three years. This will focus on strengthening communities in four key areas, fueling small businesses, community financing and philanthropy, financial access and empowerment, and fueling environmental sustainability. Our executive team recently visited branches to make sure they're doing the best they can to support the needs of communities as part of Best Community Comeback Tool. Um, next, please. Our commitment to making a difference is recognized by many organizations. Berkshire Bank has been ranked among the top 10 most trustworthy banks in the United States by Newsweek's magazine for recognition of our own diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts. We are recognized as best places to work for LGBTQ+, and 67% of workforce is women. Next, please. Um, this is going to be about procurement and process from these slides. Uh, until last year, there was no procurement function at Berkshire Bank, and business ex executed its own supply agreements based on their business requirements. Uh, executives announced the three-year strategic transformation plan called BEST to improve the customer experience, deliver profitable growth, enhance stakes stakeholder value and strengthen its community impact last year. This strategy focuses on three pillars, optimize, enhance, and digitize. Central procurement was established as a critical component of this optimized pillar. Procurement is a function responsible for maximizing enterprise value and achieving efficiency by sourcing effectively spending money wisely, ensuring a continuity of suppliers and partnerships with suppliers, mitigating commercial risks and managing supplier performance. Supplier diversity is really important to us. We want to continue to grow a diverse third party supplier base that reflects our communities we serve and ensure that the fair inclusion and utilization of business owned by underrepresented groups like minority, women, LGBTQ+, veteran and disabled individuals. Our procurement policy reflects this commitment in making efforts to include diverse suppliers in sourcing opportunities. Next, please. Um, effective last fall, business units are required to engage with procurement for company purchases with total contracted value over $10,000. We 
we are marching towards no PO, no pay policy by establishing buying function and implementing a procure to pay system in the near future. Our procurement process begins when business brings a purchase to procurement. Procurement partners with business to develop the requirements, scope, areas of opportunities, form analysis on the current spend and agreements, review potential suppliers in the space, and develop a sourcing strategy aligned with the business goal. We reach out to suppliers as part of market testing from our side. When we reach out to the supplier, the important step is to execute our Berkshire Bank's standard mutual non-disclosure agreement so that we can exchange in-depth details and have meaningful discussions. When suppliers are invited to participate in market testing, such as RFP, there is a guideline to follow, a schedule and a response workbook where you submit your proposed commercial details and respond to our questions in a structured manner. Once the business is awarded, it's important that you share the master services agreement, an order form or scope of work document in Word format. We will redline the documents to ensure that our required changes and expectations are reflected during the legal review process. These documents will define the relationship with the supplier and the Berkshire Bank and all commercial legal arrangements during the life of the agreement. As you may already know, banks are highly regulated institutions and we have a mandatory due diligence process to comply with policies and regulations. Procurement works in conjunction with third-party risk management team any new supplier or new scope from an existing supplier would be subject to our third party risk management review. This process typically includes the review of your latest W9 form, certificate of insurance, and current financials. Depending on the risk level and the nature of the services a supplier provides, Risk management team requires additional documents such as questionnaire, SOC report, IT questionnaire, IT diagram for technology, and disaster recovery and testing. Once the third party risk review is completed, we will start a legal review and finalize the executable agreements. We execute an agreement after appropriate internal approvals based on the dollar threshold following our procurement policy. Next slide, please. So the biggest challenge I have for the diverse supplier efforts is finding a qualified diverse supplier in the space in a short time frame. When I have a sourcing opportunity, I search online in vendor, as well as the vendor system by NMS DC Central to see if there is any diverse supplier I can include in the RFP in addition to the ones that's already then identified. NMS DC system provides helpful information such as high-level company information and the types of products or services suppliers provide. My suggestion, not just for Berkshire Bank, but relevant for probably any businesses, is to make yourself known. And I typically go online, go online to search for additional suppliers in the space and try to find the ranking or reviews of potential suppliers. I always look at the website to get a sense of supplier capa capability and capacity. Um, I do believe that companies today are really looking to partner with diverse suppliers. 
And I would encourage you to maintain your profile in an MSDC vendor system, which is a valuable database. Keep your website updated and tell us more about yourself. Try to search uh, keywords relevant to your business and try to optimize search engine so that your company name comes up in Google search. Um, although this is a brief introduction, uh, this is the end of presentation. Uh, we are relatively new function building out procurement uh, as a very small team. So um, I will invite uh, Mark Mylan and open up the Q&A session. Thank you, Ayumi. Um, so for the Q&A, as I've mentioned, we would really like if you can raise your hand and then your name will be called. We will give you the opportunity to um, unmute and you can ask your questions directly. So this will just make it a lot easier than um, putting the question in the Q&A box or the, the chat function so we can ensure that we can keep track of any questions coming in and none are missed. All right, I do see one coming in the Q&A. Um, so, yeah. Ayumi, would you like oh. me to read this or do you want to read this out loud? I do see, is procurement responsible for IT purchases? And the answer is yes, we are responsible for all purchases across the company um, and work with all the lines of businesses. So IT is included. Any opportunities for consulting at Berkshire for business process improvement through the application of lean principles? Uh, Mark, would you like to answer this? Absolutely. Thank you very much for posing the question. And thank you very much, Ayumi, for very insightful and detailed presentation. Thanks again for uh, having us this morning. Um, in regards to the opportunities, uh, we always are on a lookout. And it's important for us to understand the, the composition of the supply base and capable suppliers in advance of any sourcing opportunities. When the opportunities do come, we do take all measures and efforts to ensure that we encompass the suppliers, but to the extent that we understand what your capabilities, what your scope of services and your expertise are, it greatly helps us out and it expedites the process. The truth is that we typically engage with our suppliers as the need comes up. Sometimes uh, us in procurement, we don't always have uh, a very lengthy roadmap and, and the runway in terms of when certain opportunities do come up. Presently in this space, we're not working on any initiatives. However, again, I would like to invite you to please let us know more about your organization, more about your capabilities. And as the opportunities do come up, uh, we typically reach out and ensure that we're partnering with respect to the correct RFP process, RFI, or other engagement uh, as, as we see uh, how, how best to uh, partner with suppliers. Okay. Um... a lot of question right now. For staff augmentation, are you working with MSB or direct vendor? We do have uh, currently suppliers in the space uh, that we work with. That does not mean that uh, we're precluded from exploring new suppliers, those who may uh, bring uh, additional value and benefit to the organization. Um, and obviously, I think there's opportunity for growth and enhancement as we look at uh, diversifying the supply base further and introducing good performers in the space. Uh, best way, again, uh, please uh, let us know more about the organization. Um, sometimes it is a need-driven engagement, but to the extent that we understand your capabilities and we understand who's in scope, uh, it really does help out with the decisions, as well as really our partnership and understanding uh, what additional benefits your organization may provide to Berkshire. So please follow up and, and let us know more. Um, 
Do you post your opportunities on your website? The opportunities are currently not posted on the website in terms of uh, what we uh, are seeking suppliers for. One, the function is relatively new. And two, very importantly, many of the initiatives that we're working on do carry an element of confidentiality and may be sensitive in terms of where we are. With that in mind, obviously, as things are aligned with our strategy and we want to be sensitive to our uh, competitive advantage relative to some of our peers and competitors and others in the industry, we tend not to post the opportunities um, publicly and online, um, similarly to what you may encounter with some of the state and local municipalities that do. So we are aware that nature of the business dictates uh, the right level of approach. But in terms of uh, all opportunities being uh, publicly known and available outside of Berkshire, they're not. Um, again, the importance, and I'm stressing it, uh, is, is for you to let us know about your organization so that we are prepared and aware and know who to reach out to when certain opportunities come up and they align with your scope, your core competencies and, and your capabilities. Right, and a few people have asked about how to forward capabilities. You know, can you share email addresses? Um, we'll be posting um, the contact email address in the chat uh, momentary. And I'll also share that with the presentation also. Okay, that'd be great, thank you. Let's see. Um, a few, let's see. We're interested in becoming a supplier to provide our IT contingent workforce services as a prime vendor or tier two vendor. Any suggestion would be appreciated. Certainly. Thank you again for the interest. We really appreciate um, the, the, the interest in Berkshire and, and helping us uh, together on our best transformational journey. Let us know more via the email that will be provided in terms of uh, where you are. Uh, and then we'll figure out what may be the best level of engagement, whether it is tier one or tier two. Majority of our engagements are on tier one basis. Uh, again, primarily driven by need um, and certainly happy to understand more uh, how we could partner and, and uh, what specific advantages your organization may provide. So we're certainly very eager to learn more. Okay. Similar to um, the question earlier, uh, this is regarding multicultural marketing, communication, or community engagement. Are there any opportunities? Thank you. I believe that the opportunities are out there. Um, they are primarily driven by our marketing team and uh, the level of engagement. Um, procurement by itself does not generate um, the, the sourcing initiatives or the opportunities. We work very closely with our stakeholders in terms of understanding what their business needs and what their strategy is to help them execute things from the commercial perspective. So once the, the need is identified internally, whether it is through project or through alternative means, um, and we go through our internal due diligence, as we engage with suppliers, as we conduct those discussions, as we go through supplier evaluations and fair market tests, um, that's when we would engage with you to drive that process and in essence, serve as support to our internal stakeholders, as well as uh, the primary pathway for our suppliers in terms of engagement, um, contracting and subsequent supplier performance, as well as um, making sure that we have quality quarterly business reviews and ensuring that the relationship is strong and profitable and, and mutually beneficial. Okay. And um, the last question is, is there a way for us to know your planned initiatives in near future? Um, Berkshire typically does not announce all of our uh, planned initiatives in bulk, uh, primarily in due to obviously maintaining a uh, competitive advantage and, and uh, discussing uh, things internally. We typically do when it does come to larger RFPs, 
have fair enough runway where we can conduct the process. And in most instances, it is not uh, a short time span in terms of where we can execute. But in terms of the overall initiatives, in terms of the overall transformational projects, um, we're not at liberty to share what may be, uh, what is over and beyond publicly discussed and shared in our investor calls and, and our uh, quarterly earnings and other platforms uh, organized by Berkshire leadership and our CEO. However, rest assured that once we understand uh, who is in supply base and where things are, uh, we work very closely with our uh, corporate communications and our diversity teams as well to ensure that we are paying particular attention uh, to diverse suppliers and ensuring that we have adequate representation in our upcoming sourcing events, as well as assurance that we're properly reflecting the community uh, where we operate and where we stand for. Uh, thank you very much, Mark. I think I've received some thank you notes and there's no more question. If there's any other questions, please pose them now. You can raise your hand and we'll call on you to speak or you can put them in Q&A. Um, and I just have a question. You, you, you went through a lot of great do's for the MBEs. Um, do you have any don'ts um, for how to do business with Berkshire Bank? Just maybe some some tips to help guide them in their journey. Tips to help them guide in journey. Um, I think, you know, um, like I said, it's, you know, there, there's so many companies who are really focused in diversity area today. And it's really something that we thrive to do through a company where we can make impacts to the community. So I think, you know, getting yourself known through partnering these communities, putting your names out there on the website, maybe do some interviews or ask your clients to speak about how the experience was working with the company and building your you know, profile in industry would, I think, really be helpful. Um, generally, you know, I am in a situation where I would have to identify a supplier in a very short time frame just because then as business is typically wants things done yesterday um, and everything should be done tomorrow. So in such time frame, it's really hard to you know find the right uh match um so you know getting your names out there through uh industry are probably the most important thing we could do um even within the banking community so i i would encourage to spend time on that piece while you also you know develop your uh, industry expertise. Thank you. Okay, so if that is it for our questions. Oh, um, we had one more question pop up. Why don't you create your own database of diverse contractors? Um, that is a great idea and, you know, I think some companies have, uh, you know, diverse procurement person that would actually go out and reach out to identify those suppliers, which is it's which is great. Uh, we are actually a very small team trying to build a function. So um, if we could get there, that would be amazing. <laughs> One day. Okay, hey, I think um. I think Mark froze. So with that, I'd just like to say thank you, Ayumi. Thank you, Mark, um, for providing such a great overview of Berkshire Bank. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me directly. I will be sharing the presentation and also um, contact information for those who weren't able to grab it out of the chat. And um, thank you again for taking the time to participate in today's How to Do Business with Berkshire Bank webinar. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.